how far we've come with printing these pedals with the massive design changes. It is astounding and very awesome. These black components go in between and they're still warm, fresh off the printer. They feel great. So we'll get them inserted in and see what it looks like. We've got this half assembled and it's really starting to come together. Damn, it looks so awesome. Well now that's together, it looks awesome and amazing. I've still got to put the horizontal pins that hold it together through here. I'm still undecided. So this has come out absolutely stunning. It looks so good. One thing I'll note, I just stuffed up on the sides with the hex nuts. I made them too big, but it is such a small part to print, so that's very easy to tune. Same on this side. But yeah, having it printed to have a play with it, you can definitely make some changes. And wow, I think this is going to be so strong. And it looks so good. And color options too. 3D printers from graphics designing to reality. Wow. So awesome. Assembling our steel plasma cut components. They have come out really nice. Still got to do a bit of filing to get them perfect. Compared to the aluminium, they are awesome. A lot heavier. Just assembling it on the frame, piece by piece, as we slot them in, because they are all component based. So we just slide them down and then screw in the bases. I'm actually using a drill for it. We have got so many things going on today. We've got our dirty plasma cut pedals. We've got our clean laser cut pedals, and we've got our steel laser cut pedals. Whoa, they're heavy. And we are printing the bases to go on these. It is very noisy in here, and we've got our nine millimeter base printing. So give this thing about three hours, and we should have it done and get it bolted onto one of those plates and see how it flexes. We've had great success with building our plate. This is all plastic. This is plastic and aluminium. And this is ABS, or plastic again, and steel. I think I'm gonna do a combo with these one steel and these aluminium. And we've got plenty of spare parts. Not spare parts, but enough components to assemble another unit. They just need a tiny bit of cleanup from the plasma cutting. They've got a couple of burrs. But overall, they are very clean. These are raw from the factory. So super excited. Such is the life of 3D printing. I've had to restart the job because this one failed had a power glitch and I lost it. So we've actually had some design changes. This is what just came off the printer and then we get our aluminium plate and we drop that on top and this is that failed print which I am now printing another piece which I'm going to add as the new top layer because when we add it like this it gives us a really awesome look at the pedal. I'm very impressed with this. Yeah, however 3mm aluminium that can get a bit of flex in it. However, three mil steel, this is even better. Boy, is it heavy. So I think that with this, and then we add on the toe plates. And that's what's printing right now, a clean version of this top one, because it's not the real one. Put on these front and side plates. We've got ourselves an awesome looking pedal. Okay, let's get the real one. There it is, the final version. We just got to put all the screwy fixings in, put the nice smooth finish on it, and it all pops together really well. Ready to assemble. As you saw on the other pedal, it was all aluminium. We're working on the steel one now, so I've got to tap and die set the uh, pin holes. So we just screw these in slowly and at the same time brushing away the uh, chunks. This is probably the hardest and slowest part. We made fantastic progress. We have cut all the holes. Probably took about half an hour. So it would probably take about an hour per pedal. Now we just got to give it a bit of a clean with some metho to get rid of all the oil. And then we've got to thread cut the plastic but they're really easy. Threads look 
and work great with the pins in them. Let's get the plastic on this. Normally I would treat this and paint it, but we're in prototype. Okay, we're having a little bit of an issue, right? I'm having to put a shim in here because when the pedal is down, the amount of force that is between here and here from the plate as it pushes down, it just wants to push this across sideways. And what happens is, you can't see it on this one, but perhaps there's a tiny notch there compared to the other side of the plate on the aluminium side and we can clearly see we've got a small notch now what's causing that is on the pedal if we look on our hanger here we've got two bits of threaded rod running through so it's looking like this and all that pressure force is coming in here and this rough threaded rod against the steel is not so bad, but the aluminium, it just crushes in. So, I've ordered some solid rods in 5mm and 6mm, and only the ends are threaded now. So that means the force that's pushing across should be a lot better, as well as I can reinforce the edges if I have a double bar. But I noticed the steel, the plate is holding really well, but the aluminium one, just that one mil of sag has made my pedal go from slight slope to flat and then another mil and it went slightly tapered down. But we're making progress and we're getting somewhere. So I've had the pedal on the wheel for some time now and I'm noticing how it's shifted down, which we discussed before, as well as how it's being crushed in. So we've got some design changes that we're going to do and we'll see what it comes out like. Just reviewing how the hanger plate sits on the file and I've noticed, I've noticed in regards to how these shift up and you can see it's quite substantial and I've said that three times now. I'm gonna extend this plate to sit on this plate so when the forces push up, it's got to push this as well as I'm going to make a more of a substantial lip here. Well, this is sitting recess now. You can see that's the plate. And if I extend that to go all the way to here on both sides, let me show you. I think that'll help now that it extends across all three plates. All three plate extension to the edge should fix that with the solid rods and these things are sitting nicely recessed. Okay, let's get this manufactured and this video is way too long for this edition. Enjoy.